Alright, this morning we're going to cover how to group by quarter or six months, half year. And um, really quick, one of the things to note, which I'll show in a second, is you'll, for the last six months or the last quarter, you'll use your where clause for the sake of this video. There are a lot of examples that you can find where people are grouping by uh, the last six months and actually like the algorithms they're using are actually fairly complicated in my opinion they're a little more complicated than they need to be but anyway if you specify in the where clause like the last um, what is it, the last six months or the last uh, three months where the where clause can make it really easy to, to filter that that's what it's for so in this instance we're going to be populating some basically let's say this was hypothetically mortgage data where you have a, the um, uh, the mortgage number the payment the mortgage amount total principal and then of course you have the date that's the payment and you can see that there there is a new December all the way to June so we have seven months of data and what we want to do is we want to group by and I put the month up here just for standard of comparison but we want to group by the quarter and we're going to group by the uh, half year so let's scroll this up a little bit here let's scroll this down a little bit here okay so this right here is where we're grouping by quarter and I, I have this column added, these columns I should say added, only for standards of comparison so that we can see what we're doing. But for the record, you don't actually have to produce this because once your where clause is, is set, everything will be good. So we are looking at the percentage of payment as a total of the principal balance. So how, what percent of payment are these as a, as a total as a percent, I'm sorry, of the total balance of the mortgage, okay? And what we're doing is we're grouping by a quarter here. So we're doing a date diff quarter zero and then the date. And then we're grouping here by the date diff month six and then the date and we're looking at the, the actual month. So this is getting a half year and this right here is getting the quarter, okay? And so we will produce that. Now what's interesting is because we have December, you will notice that we have three quarters, which is technically true. Even though December by itself is not a full quarter, there's actually you know November, I'm sorry, uh, October, November, December. Still, it's going to produce, well, this is the, the results of this first quarter, which would actually be the fourth quarter of 2013. Okay. And uh, so we see, and then of course it produces the first quarter here of 2014, and then the second quarter down here of 2014. And then of course we have half year as well, right? So this is the half year for the first half of the year, I should say, for 2014. And this is really the ending half of the year for 2013, though it only really includes one month. Now, if we want to make it specific and we say, well, we just want the last, um, the last two quarters or the last six months then we would throw that in our where clause. And again, you can actually see with the month, um, because I don't have a where clause, what it produces. So it will tell you what month it is, one, two, three, four, five, and then six, and then 12. And what you'll notice, of course, is now our quarter is the last two quarters, and our six months is just the last uh, year. We don't have nine anymore, we just have the, the 10. And this, by the way, is the output of the full thing, and this is just the group by overall. So that's just some interesting notes about when you're looking at, um, what is it, month and quarter, if you're trying to group by the, either the last month or the last quarter. The way that I would look at it is I would look at the, uh, specify the, the specifics in the where clause. I saw some people, and I had a colleague ask me this question, and his his uh, equation, or I say equation, algorithm, whatever he was using was really complicated and I thought it's actually much simpler than that. So um, anytime you get into a situation where um, you're grouping by, first of all, make sure it's sorkable um, if you can, but the other thing too as well is that uh, keep in mind um, that you will, you'll want to specify things in your, your where clause, make it, make it easy. To do so that that gets you the last six months and then the last two quarters uh, if you wanted to get just the last quarter then you would specify where are we at and remember you can automate that too in your where clause I don't like doing that because it's not going to be performed really high so you want to declare a variable and then make sure the where looks at the variable 
um, outside of it because again otherwise you're going to you're going to get into a sargability issue where you're going to be throwing things like crazy um, so always get uh, for instance here as a case in point this is the where is going to be sargable here but you'll want to actually have a variable if you're going to make it dynamic you do not want to sit there and put like where month blah 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 not a good idea